myself Dr. Sonali Tawde. I am a practicing gynecologist and fertility specialist at Aveta Fertility Clinic, Mulun. Today we will see how IUI and IVF treatments are being done and what is the difference between the two. These are broadly the two types of treatment we offer to infertile couples when they come to us. So coming to IUI which is intrauterine insemination. Here we do a follicle scan on second or third day of the menstrual cycle to check for any ovarian cyst. If there are no cyst, we start some oral ovulations or gonadotropin injections. We monitor the follicle growth by serial scans and when the follicle is of appropriate size, we give a trigger injection. IUI is usually timed 34 to 36 hours after the trigger injection. In uh, intrauterine insemination, we process the husband semen sample which is called semen wash. So here we separate the motile sperm from rest of the semen sample and we put the sperm concentrate in the uterine cavity just above the internal os. The course of events which take place after the insemination like the fertilization of the egg by the sperm in the fallopian tube the transport of the embryos from the fallopian tube to the womb and the implantation. These all process will happen like in a natural conception. The chances of pregnancy in an IUI cycle are 15 to 20 percent depending on whether you are taking injections or tablets. In IVF treatment, we stimulate the ovaries by gonadotropin injections. Here an average female will need a 9 to 11 days of stimulation after which the follicles become ready. We give a trigger injection and 34 to 36 hours after the trigger we schedule ovum pickup in which the follicular fluid is aspirated through a transvaginal probe into a test tube. Then this follicular fluid is screened for the oocytes. The oocytes are fertilized by the sperms either by IVF which is in vitro fertilization or ICSI which is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. In IVF, the sperms and the eggs are kept together and they are left to fertilize on their own. So here the sperm selection happens naturally. Whereas in ICSI, selected sperms are taken and each oocyte will be injected with one sperm. After the procedure, we confirm the fertilization next day of the pickup. On second and third day of the pickup, we monitor the embryo growth and the status. Depending on different protocols which different labs follow, the embryo transfer is done on third or fifth day of the pickup. The process of embryo transfer is similar to that of IUI. Only difference being the embryo transfer catheter is a very very soft catheter. 12 to 13 days after the embryo transfer, we can confirm the pregnancy by a blood test called beta HCG. So if you see the basic difference between IUI and IVF, in IUI the fertilization takes place in the fallopian tubes like it happens in a natural cycle. Whereas in IVF the fertilization takes place outside the human body in the IVF lab. So the IUI process can be done even in a small setup and most of the gynecologists can perform this procedure. But for IVF, you need specialized equipment, well-trained embryologists and experienced gynecologists who have the knowledge of IVF. IUI being simpler is less expensive as compared to IVF. But if you see the pregnancy rates, there is a difference between IUI and IVF. At times, we see the IVF giving 3 to 4 times result than IUI cycle. When it comes to attempts of IUI, we see many couples who have done more than 6 cycles of IUI. We usually recommend maximum 4 cycles of IUI when the reports are normal. Very rarely when both the partners are young and reports are normal, we can extend up to maximum 6 cycles of IUI. In IVF, if you see, the results ranges between 50 to 60%. So when you are discussing treatment options for you with your fertility specialist, please try to know what are the chances with IUI and IVF in your particular case and then take a wise decision. 
If you want to consult me, please check my library profile. Thank you.